Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Now that Alex has the, wow that was a good time to go to the menu. <laughs> now that Alex has the Dragon Master Armor, he has the complete set, but he hasn't passed the last trial yet. So he's not technically the Dragon Master. So let's see if we can pass the trial. Let's fight again, and we still have no MP. <laughs> uh, sure. You have enough MP for one slash, Kyle. Let's make it count. And do a lot of damage. Two. Good. There. All finally done attacking. Now, if you noticed, we did about one seventy. Something, I can't remember the exact number that Kyle just did with Power Slash. However, that's not too much more than Kyle does with three swings. Now that he has that third attack. No, not AI. <laughs> now that he has that third attack, Power Slash isn't as useful. Where it comes in handy is if the enemy is across the screen and you want to make sure you hit them, then. Power Slash can be handy, that way you don't lose an attack just walking up to them. Let's see, 54, 57, 58. You see, not that much more damage now. I guess the same could be said about Alex's uh, sword dance. But Alex still does a little more with Sword Dance than, than hits. But not much. Attack, attack. So really, for Alex and Kyle, now you should save your MP for... You should always be saving them for bosses, but for other moves. Such as Sonic Riser. Definitely power up or vigor in Alex's case. Against the boss, just power up and then swing away. If the boss is out of range, then that would be a good time. Alex gains a level. 7 HP, 5 MP, 1 attack, 2 defense, 1 agility, 2 wisdom, 1 magic endurance. Then would be a good time for Alex to sword dance, for example. Make sure you get all the damage you can. Give a healing nut to Tempest. And an herb to Alex. Dark Sword. Blade of Evil. Kyle can use it. Now, it lowers his agility. Just doesn't move as fast. That may be from the Wind Sword as well. However, it does give a boost to defense and a boost to attack. So we'll have, have him equip it. Yeah, the wind, well, can't really tell. The wind sword may just be giving agility. Instead of the dark sword taking away agility. Anyway, a new blade for Kyle. Set up. 
a dragonfly wing. Just so you know, that dragonfly wing, pretty good hint. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, if you want to escape the dungeon, here's a dragonfly wing. Hint, hint. Because you lost a lot of MP opening treasure chests. So we're gonna save here. <laughs> Do I want to go back? So I really would like to have have MP. I think the monsters respawn. Hmm. I can bypass most of them. There's a de debate back and forth. Tell you what, I'm gonna take the game's hint and use the dragonfly wing to escape the dungeon. But and and go heal up and then I'll meet you back here for me it'll take me a couple of minutes for you not so much just a second or two so see you in just a bit okay here are back here uh, na uh sorry Kyle got a level 5 HP 2 MP 2 in attack and 1 in everything else uh, not completely at full HP. Got into a fight, fight or two on the way up here. But pretty much everybody's at full HP. Used a few herbs that dropped and healing that. I believe just one. So, uh, let's head up these stairs. Black Songstress. Wait, what? Luna? Luna! Run! Alex, what's wrong with her? Come on, Alex. We have to slay this thing before it harms anyone else. No! Tempest! We can't! We can, and we will! You saw what her song did to your friends in the village and to Fresca. To spare the Black Songstress is to throw away their lives! What man who desires to be a hero would let that happen? Alex has been adventuring all this time to save Luna! She's not evil! Her songs are bright and beautiful! And I know Alex can break the spell Galleon's placed on her! Alright Alex, I owe you this chance. And I understand your feelings. But one chance is all I will allow you. And if you are unable to break the spell, she must be slain. She must, Alex. Luna. Luna, it's me, Alex. Get away, stand back. Magic Emperor Galleon! Uh, no, wait! <laughs> I'm thrilled you made it, boy. Luna's voice has improved tremendously since you last saw her. In fact, my dear, why don't you let your acquaintances hear a tune for Old Sing Long, or Old Lang Sing? I'm sure they're breathless in anticipation, and we wouldn't want to disappoint them. Yes, Master Galleon. It burns! 
my head! It's in my head! Get it out! Shut her up, Alex! Now! Or we're all dead! Luna, please stop! Look at what you're doing to us! Luna... Yes, my sweet fountain of despair! Let the world hear your mournful call! A great power is yet locked deep within your soul, dear Luna. Stretch out your alabaster skin and unleash the song that will unfetter it! And if the humans before us must perish as a consequence, so be it! I can't control my body! Try to close your ears to fight it! Luna! Thunder Breath! Duh! Everybody's paralyzed thinks because of Luna's song. Yeah. This right, we're goners! At least Alex can take the hits pretty well. Thanks to his uh, dragon armor. But still. You can't do anything, Alex. We're powerless against her. You know what to do. Luna is lost to you, Alex. Now finish her before our world pays the price for your indecision. What are we going to do? I don't believe you've forgotten about us, Luna. I don't believe you're evil, no matter how hard Galleon tries to change you! Luna... If only it were that easy. Wouldn't that be the happy ending everyone paid to see? No! Get away from me! Ah! Alex! Help me! <laughs> I will say that you have impressed me with your resolve, Dragon Boy. I designed my magic to destroy every fragment of Luna's memory. Yet you revived it with nothing more than a pathetic little ditty. Luna! Alex! Oh, Alex! Of course, all your efforts are meaningless. Events far beyond your understanding have been set into motion. And all the power of this world will soon be mine to control. Let her go, Galleon. Let her go now. If you think I can be intimidated by your little yell, Dragon Boy. You're even more of a simpleton than I first believed. Heed my command, Black Dragon. Devour these pathetic children. Stop! Alex! Luna! Ah, uh, the black dragon armor! It's glowing! And be prepared to see one of the most awesome cutscenes to me. And now, best to the task at hand.
Alex! Look at you! Hell yes! Love that! I love it so much! You just see the... Remember, the, the purity of heart. He cares so much about Luna. And that's what all of this is for, is to save Luna. That's the one thing he loves above all else is Luna. And when that shines, and the dragon spirits come out, and he gets he gets the equipment put on. Yes, love it. Get away from her, Galleon. Get away from her or die. And Alex is 100% serious now. And you see, Alex looks completely different. Say hello to Dragon Master Alex, everyone. Even the portrait has changed. He's got the full dragon dragon armor on with the helmet, the shield. Fully ready to go. He's also learned the last dragon magic, Dragon Grief. Hits all enemies, dimension attack, 15 MP. You're wondering what it does. Well, it makes me very sad, but all it does is it wipes out all the enemies on the screen. Uh, think of it like Temp uh, Tempest's uh, Wind Attack, but you don't get any EXP, you don't get any silver from it. It basically just ends the fight. I would have liked something really cool, and although this may come in handy later, that's all it does. Not useful against bosses, honestly. So, kind of a downer here, but we're going to put that aside because Alex is the new Dragon Master, and he's awesome looking now. Got that conviction. All about Luna, I love that, you know, step away from her galleon or die. Just awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Vigor and power Alex up. Uh, I guess you get Thunderbomb Nash. Blah, blah, it's Nash. <laughs> we'll have Kyle power up as well. And you can attack Tempest. Let's get started. Nice Check two crits. Hey, Ford, not bad. Power up. And bigger. Fire breath. Which pushes everybody away. And roasted Tempest. Yikes. Okay, because everybody got pushed away, we're actually going to take this, this opportunity to the sword dance. I know, everything I said about Sword Dance. But, we want to get as much damage as possible in against the boss. Uh, you can use the one healing nut you have, Nash, and heal Tempest. Same type of thing for Kyle, we'll have him Power Slash. And then attack. Attack. 553! Yes! You can even hear Alex's voice has changed a little bit. He's much more serious. Sword dance again. Uh, you can just defend, Nash. Power slash and... Sadly, you can't give any items to Tempest, so... Uh, use a flash arrow, just to be different. Because it is a cool looking attack. Alright, do it, Alex! Fire breath. Who are you gonna hit? Preferably Nash. Yeah, because Nash was guarding. <laughs> Let's see. Good dragon healing. And we'll sword dance again. As you can see, the black dragon seems to be powering up for something. I have Tempest Guard as well. Power Slash. Have Alex carve into him. 
And there's Thunder Breath. Which does hit everybody. We'll continue to Sword Dance. Uh, you're out of healing items. I should have gave you more healing items, Nash. Oh well, you can defend. Power Slash. You can defend as well, Tempest. Fire Breath! Oh, that knocks Nash out. Oh well. I <laughs> say Nash isn't doing anything. You should load Nash up with uh, healing nuts. I didn't do that. But you should do that and he can act as your healer. He's not going to be doing all that much damage. It's going to be really Alex. Heck yeah. Cold breath? Which does hit everybody. Oh, good. Come on, get back on your feet. Now it's gonna revive Nash. Uh let's take this time to heal everyone. Dragon healing. There we go. Everybody's fine. All right, Breath of Tempest, but that's fine. He's guarding. Oh, here comes Thunder Breath. A little Sword Dance. Defend. Then Power Slash. Defend as well. Thunder Breath. But Alex takes it like a champ now. Thunder Slash Defend. You just see Alex really shine here. I love it. Fire Breath. Nash takes that pretty well because he's guarding. I ah, ran out for the sword dance. That's a shame. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, run up, Alex. Who has you do? Give a little bit of MP back to Alex. Starlight? Look, even the way he slashes is different now. Just looks awesome. Okay, now that he's got MP back, we'll sword dance. Power slash and defend again. Shouldn't have too much more. Oh, here comes Thunder Breath. You want to carry a few Starlights with you in this battle, too, because you want to keep Alex's MP high. That way, if you need to use Dragon Healing or something like that, you can. Sword Dance. We'll heal up Tempest. As you see, the Black Dragon has a ton of HP. That's what makes this fight difficult. Okay, sword dance, defend. Continue to power slash. There he goes. 
25,000 experience points. Now let's gain to level 8 HP, 3 MP, 3 attack, 1 defense, 1 agility, 1 wisdom, 2 magic endurance. Nash gains a level, 5 HP, 4 MP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 2 agility, 3 wisdom, 2 magic endurance. Tempest gains a level, 4 HP, 2 MP, 2 attack, 1 defense, 2 agility, 1 wisdom, 1 magic endurance. continue to amaze. Well, perhaps that's too strong a word. You continue to amuse me, young dragon boy. Here you are, a supposed hero like Dine, yet the most basic truths still elude you. You can't destroy me. That power has been and shall remain out of your reach. <laughs> What's better? You can't even help your beloved Luna. You finally achieved your lifelong dream. For what? For nothing more than the idle amusement of one you have grown to detest. That would be me, in case you weren't keeping notes, Dragon Boy. But enough of that. Luna! Yeah, yes, Magic Emperor. Luna! The time has come for us to depart this little sword. And be, be a deer and summon the coach. Yes. Awaken, Black Dragon. <laughs> Isn't this amusing? You're the Dragon Master, and yet I seem to control the dragons. <laughs> Stop! If you want Luna back, Dragon Boy, I've arranged a meeting at the Grinder. I'm confident we can work out some kind of final arrangement there. Come back! Though I find your demeanor quite endearing, I'm afraid you aren't really in a position to be commanding anyone at this juncture. I'm afraid you'll just have to come to us, Dragon Boy. See you at the frontier. <laughs> I hate you, Galleon. I really do. I really, really do. Luna. No. So, the course is set. I don't believe Alex's stats change when he becomes the Dragon Master, but he just looks awesome, doesn't he? <laughs> He really does. I like that. Has like a red cape, too. Even though that's not like in the cutscene, he really doesn't have have a red cape. But his sprite does. You can see like a like a red cape. Just cool. Uh, I really do I love it. What I don't love, Galleon. He. I hope he falls off that black dragon. I know he won't, but it would amuse me. Healing that to Nash. Uh, replace the Starlight. That'll work. And we can give the Wind Sword up now. And you can give up the Dream Bow. And you can carry. Actually, I take that back. You can carry a Starlight. 
Okay. Hey, Alex broke the 100 MP mark. Nice. <laughs> That's good. More sword dances. Or more dragon spells. If you're having trouble with that black dragon battle, and you might, it, it is a difficult battle. Really, Nash and Tempest are not going to add a whole lot of damage. Between Tempest and Nash, they could add as much as one of Kyle's power slashes. What you can do, however, is use them as bait, as, as sad as that is to say. Have them both guard. That way they don't take a lot of damage. You'll want the Fire Breaths to hit Nash or Tempest. Obviously, like it was hitting Nash, that was really good. Uh, if it hits Kyle, you want you want Nash to be full up on healing items. So really, what you'll want to do is have Gnaw carry the Ice Cane, the Ethereal Cane for a while, and have Nash with four or five healing nuts, a Star, and a Starlight. Uh, one or two Starlights, depending on four or five healing nuts. But that's what Nash is going to be doing. Unfortunately, Tempest can't hold anything, or you could do the same thing with him. Kyle kind of acts as a backup healer. Have him use healing nuts and or a starlight when he's not uh, using power slash. But really, all the damages are going to come from Dragon Master Alex. Yes. Via Vigor, and as you saw, Sword Dance. And there you go. Now, with that, you still have to leave, though. <laughs> That's another reason for the... Wrong person. That was another reason for the Dragonfly Wing that was given to you there. Because, hey, you still gotta get out. <laughs> Hence why I always carry a couple of Dragonfly Wings on me, just in case. Because, let's go back up here. So you can see. There is no exit here. They flew off. And so you have to get back down the hard way, which isn't really that difficult. I mean, we got up here without using MP. The only reason we didn't have any MP is because I opened treasure chests that were traps. <laughs> So you can use your MP to get back down. Not a big deal. Nash can Thunderbomb. Kyle has enough for another Power Slash. Tempest has plenty of Flash Arrows left. Or... You can just use another Dragonfly Wing. <laughs> Which is what I'm going to do. Back to my tent, Alex. We have to see if Fresca and your friends are alright. And... We'll do that... Next time. So, go ahead and save. Save here. And next time, we'll check on Fresca, Mia, and Jessica. Hope they're alright. They should be now. Hopefully they've recovered. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, had a lot of fun, and I really hope you enjoyed that cutscene where Alex just... Awesome. <laughs> That's all it is. Sheer awesomeness. And now he's the Dragon Master. Uh, that, that scene always gets my blood pumping. I do love it. And then you get that fight where Alex does the most damage, sword dance... You see he has a new attack, uh, a new swing if you go up there and regular attack once. He's just completely serious. He's the Dragon Master. Fantastic. Love it. And if you, if you really enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought, because to me, it's just a super cool and awesome scene. And then Alex gets that, you know deeper voice, completely serious. He's through 
messing around. He's the new Dragon Master, and he's going to save Luna no matter what. Just awesome. So let me know, let me know what you thought about it. Until the next episode, I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.